Hey guys, Justin here with the Satellite Phone Store and today we're going to talk about the Explorer 710 unit. What's in the box, how to use it. If you don't know what this is, this provides internet pretty much anywhere in the world. A couple years ago I actually used this hiking up Mount Kilimanjaro to do some live streaming and may actually have been one of the first people to do it. Pretty sweet device, so let's get into it. Let's go over the contents of the Explorer 710 unit. Inside you'll see it comes with an instruction manual. It comes with a battery charger. And it also comes with an ethernet cable. On this side, we actually have the unit itself. The unit is folded up and ready to be pulled out and used. To open up the unit, you need to slightly squeeze it together and then pull this latch here open. This will open up the device. This device has a replaceable battery on it. This is nice if you are gonna be off the grid for a while and won't have the ability to charge or plug into the wall. But to take off the battery, you just pull these two tabs here and then you pull the battery straight up. Inside here, you'll see there's a place for the SIM card that's underneath the battery. To install it, you'll see there's a little indication of which direction to install it in. To uninstall it, you push it in and push it in slightly and it will pop out. To reinstall the battery, all you need to do is pop open these tabs again, push it down and lock the tabs closed. On this side of the device, you'll see where the LCD control panel is. This is where we are gonna control the device. On right here, you'll see there is the power button. To power it on, you're gonna slide this over and hold it down like so until this LED light starts turning on. To point your device, you're going to use this compass. So if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, like North America, you're going to point the antenna south. Also, speaking of antennas, there's a small antenna here for the Wi-Fi. If you point this up, you can get a little bit better range of the Wi-Fi of this device. On the side of the device here, you'll see all the ports. Starting on the first port is the external battery. Next is the DC in, this is for powering the device. We have a port to connect a phone or headset. We have LAN ports here for connecting directly into your PC and an ISDN. In order to charge the device, you're going to take the included charger and you're going to plug it into this port. If you'd like to use ethernet, then you're going to plug in to one of the LAN ports and the other end will go into your laptop or PC. All right, now that we're outside, let's show you guys how to get some data going. First thing you'll need to do is pop open this latch. You're going to open up the unit. This side right here is the antenna, and as you can see out here, I have a completely unobstructed view to the sky. This is really important. If you have trees, mountains, rocks, houses, buildings, whatever, in between you and the signal, it's not gonna work. So make sure you're in an area that has an unobstructed view of the sky. Preferably if you can put the device on something where it is actually off the ground, that is a better situation. Okay, now let's get to it. You can use the BGAN pointer app to figure out the closest satellite to you. This will also help you line up the device towards it. Inmarsat has stationary satellites generally located over the equator. As soon as the device initializes or actually goes through its whole process of turning on, it will start beeping because it's ready to be pointed. And the way that the pointing works is that the closer we get to the satellite, the louder the tone gets. So we do this with small increments based on where the satellite was before. I know that it's in this vicinity. We wanna get about 55 decibels. Once you line up everything and have a good signal, click OK. Once you hit OK, it will say searching, then registering, and you will see a ready symbol that indicates it's ready. Once the device says ready, you're going to scroll over with these keys here to this icon here, and you're gonna hit OK. In here, you're gonna see the different levels of streaming. So whatever you signed up with the satellite phone store with, that's what you're going to click on data-wise. I have standard data, so I'm just gonna hit standard data and then hit start. 
Now the device will start connecting. And from this point, you can log in with your computer to Wi-Fi and use this device for data streaming. To connect to the network, find your device in your Wi-Fi options. The Wi-Fi password should be printed on the top of your device. Once you've connected to the 710's Wi-Fi, go to your browser and type in 192.168.0.1. This will bring you into the control panel for the unit. This will give you the ability to initiate the data. There are multiple packages for data which your sales representatives can help you decide what is best suited for you. In my case, I have the standard data package. This will allow for basic web browsing, emails, and chat on your device. If you are on a mobile device or a computer, it is important to reduce background refresh so that you don't go through all your data. On a computer, you can use a third-party app such as Trip Mode. We do not support this software, however, we do recommend it. On an iPhone or an iPad, you will go into Settings, General, and then background app refresh and toggle all of it to off. Once you've finished your session, you can either terminate the data connection in the control panel or power off the device. Thank you guys for watching this video on the Began Explorer 710 unit. If you guys found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking to rent or buy any satellite phone equipment, please visit sat619.com and we'll be there to help you out.